Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Welcome to another arcade versus home port comparison video. This is going to be a bit of an interesting one, so bear with me while I explain why I'm doing this game. This game is called Butasan and it was released in 1987 by Jaleco. Jaleco? I've never known how to pronounce them. It was also known as Mr. Pig and Pig and Bombers, and you will see why. Um, and I'm going to be comparing it to the Sharp X68000 because I'm absolutely loving playing that. Well, I'm playing on emulation um, right now. If you uh, know how much your original machine goes for and finding a working one uh, these days, then you'll understand why I'm emulating it. For the most part, it seems to be doing really rather quite a well job. I could have done on the Nemesis games, or uh, Gradius, or Salamanders and stuff like that, and maybe I will, but I've done enough of those comparisons on the arcade and the PC Engine, and then the PC Engine Mini hidden version versus, versus a regular version that was released. But I wanted to do this because I did not know this was an arcade machine, and I saw a video when I on YouTube, of all places, I know, when I was looking for great uh, titles on the shelf to play, and they mentioned this, saying it's kind of like... Uh, um, a rather intense, simple, uh, kind of Bomberman-esque clone. Not kind of that Bomberman-like, but you know what I mean. You'll see when I play it. Uh, and so I had a quick go on it, and I went, I'm pretty sure I played this on the ZX Spectrum. And what do you know? It was released on the ZX Spectrum by US Gold for Spectrum and Dread Commodore 64. Um, I want to say Amiga and Atari ST, I'm really not sure. And yeah, I remember the cover art for it on user where he had all these psycho looking pigs because on that version it was, I understand why it wasn't called Budasan because that's a Japanese name. No Scooby, what it means, but I'm sure if someone can explain it to me. They called it Psycho Pigs UXB, as in U period, X period, B. Uh, I got no idea what that stands for. I had a quick look on Wiki, and apparently Wiki doesn't know what it stands for either. But anyway, the player controls a pig, no surprises there, and the aim of the game is to blow up other pigs by throwing bombs at them. The bombs are randomly spawned across the map and can be picked up and thrown at other pigs. The bomb given a number between 5 and 13 when the bomb is thrown takes that number of seconds uh, to explode. So if it doesn't directly hit a pig in which it will kill the pig on contact then it ticks down as if you kind of laid a trap uh, and last pig standing um, wins. So apparently there was no Amiga Atari ST version but you can correct me on that wiki says that. And you also have a duck and it's incredibly incredibly straightforward and simple and I'm assuming it was one to four players or maybe just I'm guessing two players because look you got there are two sets of lives in the bottom left and bottom right hand corner and this is the arcade ROM running in coin apps eight so that's a lot of pigs there that's a lot of pigs not that many in the game and then there's a bonus level if you get there I'm shit at it but trust me it's insane and it's fun right there we go so it's telling you in Japanese what to do throw your bomb at a pig or throw your bomb at a pig and he ducks here are various power-ups I have no scooby what they are because they're all in Japanese but I'm sure we will learn and we can learn together because like I said I haven't even played the Spectrum version since I was a kid so I might do a gameplay of that as well oh I will do a gameplay um I just uh, thought I'd have a look at the arcade look at them so yeah, this is 987. No idea when the uh, Sharp version was released, or whom. I think it might be Demper who did all the Sega arcade conversions. That's me, uh, without the shirt and in the blue and white pants. Right, so pick it up automatically, fire. Duck. Oh shit, there you go. Right. He was stunned, but I was too close, but he's dead. And I've got one life left. But he's, oh shit. Can you see it ticking down? I'm gonna pick it up. Get some of that in your life. All about throw that. So don't get complacent. Congratulations. Stage clear. And see, it's very, very, very simple. But yeah, don't get complacent. Be aware, I should say, that you've got timer in your hands. I mean, who came up with this idea? It's insane, but it's cool. Right, these ones are ticking already then. So let's mix things up. More pigs on screen. Oh, 
Oh, there you go. Scaling effects. It's cute, but let's think about the sheer amount of death in Carnage. There you go. No idea what's going on there. I guess this little piggy ran all the way home. Let's see what I did there. I like, I love the music, but I like the fact that that counts as a high score. I'm guessing that means Butasan, or oh, that means Butasan. Does that mean what the equivalent of UXB is? I don't know. There we go. Right, so remember, you just, I keep forgetting, just walk into it and pick it up. And then lob it straight away, that one in the middle. Was he a ref? No, why would you have a ref? In a blood sport. Am I dead? I can't still be. I'm still alive! They've got range, so get close. Oh, what's that? I don't know, let's power up. What? You gotta die this time. Oh. I like the fact that you think you got him, but it kills you as well. Congratulations, stage clear. It's nuts. This must have been really nuts with two people. Did he have shades? He had shades. I think he took that guy's wallet. Could I keep saying that till someone gets it? Right. Carnage. Listen to the music. It's so happy and jolly, even though there's just death. Why couldn't I throw that one? I don't know why. I swear he's a ref. I got a yellow card. Oh, so some you've got a place. Oh, shit. It's not as simple as it looks. As in all the best games. I don't know what that... Oh. Oh, I thought I like had Jason Voorhees mask, so that made me invulnerable. Hey, I never said I was any good at this, but then to be fair, I haven't played this in years, and I haven't played this version um, at all. And then I played the uh, Sharp um, X68000, rolls off the tongue that, very briefly. Right, so, regardless of how much money I've got in, I only get three, one, con no continues. Okay, hang on, this. I'm a rich pig. Skip, skip. Skip to the end. Oh, I just had a look at the scores. Well, I didn't because I'm playing a game. But before I was playing the game, I had a look at the scores. I've got really decent scores on the um, the 8 bits. I've got to remember to dark more. Oh, and I gotta remember not to be so bloody close, but then it's because your range is so shizen. What he said. Shades back. That is cool. Pig with shades. Cool. Although he looked more like a cat. You can just get to level three, which I sincerely don't. Oh, he is. Is he the ref? Yeah, because he gets off screen. So, I, you got to get the time. That works. Yeah, so get the t ticket down and stuff. Stay down, stay down. I want to see if this... No. Yes, counts. Ooh, that was close. Get in nice and close. Carnage! Oh, you got... Ooh. Oh, look at that! Two piggies for the price of one. Really smells of bacon in here now. That was cool. That was really cool. I'm liking this. I like it a lot. Right. So, as you can see, very, very simple. Uh, when I say bomb man, you get what I mean, but obviously there's no um, scenery to hide behind. Can't get rid of this one. After dark. Ooh, I want you. No, you don't. Yes, you do, apparently. 
We risk a death. Shit bones. Big bones. Love that music. Right, well, I think you get the impression. Let's have a look at the Sharp X68000 version. I was running this on my original modded um, OG Xbox. Um, so I was actually playing it with Outworld, which means it'll be interesting to see how it controls or compares on the Sharp, because I have to play it on an Xbox One pad with analog. There is no way around that. Anyway, let's get into that version. So apparently this was released as part of the Video Game Anthology, Volume 6, by Demper. Uh, as late as 1998 for the Sharp X68000, whichever version or variant there was at that point. Anyway, this is the loading screen. And I think this is, does it say 1993 there um, in the bottom of the, the, the loading screen? I'm really not sure. This is how the arcade boots up though. Um, exactly how the arcade boots up. I just didn't show you that bit. If you're playing this uh, game outside of the country of Japan, you're involved in a crime. Yeah, please sue me. Uh, stop. Use and export of this uh, video game outside of the country of Japan is in violation of... What are you going to do? You don't know who I am. You don't know where I'm playing it. Cough, it would have been mine head of Westwood Ho. Top of the screen looks the same. I mean, to be fair, this would have been a pretty easy game to emulate, wouldn't it? Um, I mean, although the arcade was released in the same year as the Sharp X68000. Um, the reason, another reason I'm doing this uh, version is there was no, like I said, I don't think there was Amiga or Atari ST, which probably had no problems with it, but there was no NES version, no Master System version. It was just the 8-bit micros in the United Kingdom, to which case this seems a rather odd game to do. But anyway, so 1987, Jaleco, if not, say, Demper, so... It's going a straight one-on-one -on -one, uh, port, you know, like I, basically identical to the arcade game. I'm guessing that's a kind of, uh, I don't know, because it's an anthology thing. The music sounds absolutely bang on, but the shop had absolutely fantastic music. Again, I'm playing this on Xbox One pack, so here we go. Right. Oh, look, I just noticed at the top in the middle of the screen, there is a timer for the round. And then the high score is the top right of that, and my score will be to the top left of that. And this is obviously one or two simultaneous player. Right. You got credit in. Basically, this is the arcade game then. Got credit in. It's funny when I record this, you're seeing the TV. Uh, I'm playing on the laptop. Is it basically it's exactly the same as the arcade? Again, you would hope so on a machine like this, which was basically three thousand pounds for the basic model in 1987. But that's cool. Again, is this because it's an anthology thing? I just picked it up because I picked it up. I've downloaded it, uh, allegedly, on recommendation of a good games on this system. And, oh, I don't like, is it trying to do scan? No, 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 can't be. But yeah, um, and I only ever played on the Spectrum. Right. Get some of that in your bacon. I'm guessing you can do a two for the price of one kill then. A bog off, if you will. Can you look at him on the floor. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, hang on. See, he is a referee. Congratulations, stage clear. You have a referee pig. I'm not going to lie, exactly the same animation. That's cool. And I mean, if you absolutely loved this game back in the day, um, were rich, or your daddy had a sharp X68000 in 1993 then you could fulfill all your arcade perfect needs of Busan or Pig Bomb uh, or Psycho Pig 2 XP if you were aware of what was going on in England. <laughs> oh look at that, boomerang action. I don't know what that did. Oh no. Oh shit, that's a landmine. Bastard. There's still that in your life. Bog off. Um, I'm going to say that, and this is going to bite me in the ass now, um, that this is a lot easier than the arcade. What did it say about the button? Push the button. Bottom of the screen, let's say. Push the button. He's got a little baseball cap on. He thinks he's a baseball referee. Shit, I ran into him. Did I run into him? Whoa! No you don't, no you don't. 
Congratulations. I'm pissing through this. My bacon is divine. Oh, bonus stage. I don't know what I do. I don't know. I'm slapping them. Oh my god, it's um whack-a-mole. This game is insane. Cool. So you gotta punch it, not just run into it, which makes sense. And I've shited it, but what do I get? How many pigs did I bitch slap? Not many. Dame Pack would not be pre pleased. Look at me flipping out like a Neo. Oh look! What is that? Is that a lake? I don't know what's going on. I'm liking this. I can't wait to try the Spectrum version. It's insane, though. Look how crowded it is. Oh, dead. Wow, exact same end of game screen. Oh, you can con continue. Can you? Yes. My bad. Ignore me not being able to continue on the arcade game. You can, apparently. Right, so look. This one's got five. You've got to look more. Um... Get the timer on the bombs. Shit. Right, okay. I've got endless continues then. Right, so what? What happens when we use all the bombs up? Yeah, does the referee run on and bring more bombs on? I don't know, can I? I don't know what's going on. Why am I stuck? Have I just broken the game? Really? Really? Okay, well, uh, let's restart. Apparently, they'll run into them. Can right, let's try that again. I let the time run down. I, I really got no idea what happened. Uh, it's probably me not understanding the game because. Um, when this system, like, you know, crashes and stuff like that, it does not do it as nicely as that. Oh, shines and balls. Right, there you go. Uh, one more quick go then. One more quick go. Right, it's carnage, it's carnage. Basically then, this game's arcade perfect. Plays identically, looks identically, sounds uh, identical. Is insane. Uh, gets quite hard, quite quickly. Oh. Well, look, look, gets hard very quickly. I'm not using duck enough. I am pausing awkwardly, though. <laughs> Is that it? Well, there you go. Let's round up. Basically, as I just said, it's arcade perfect. Booster Sun? A pig bomber, or at least in the UK, Psycho Pig UXB. Anyway, in the unlikely case you have actually played this game on either of these versions, I'd love to know what you think. I'm definitely going to play um, Spectrum version. And if there's a game you would like me to do a comparison of in the arcade to the Sharp, um, let me know. And if I can, I will try. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.